Hello guys, this is Jatin and I am just welcoming you how to add conversions in Google AdWords. So for doing that, you have to just go into tools and over here in tools, you have conversions. Once you click on it, you will be landed on this page. So what you have to do for tracking conversion is just click on this plus sign with conversion. And now you have to decide whether you want to track the phone calls or the apps or the website. Today we are going to learn website so we click on select website and then you have to give the template name like you want to track the subscriber or how many people have filled the form for doing that you just name it out how you can recognize it so i name it as lead generation okay and then in the next one you have to click on done then next value does it has any value for you you can define it if it is just a sign up form then you need not to define it you can go on no assign value and done it then does it uh, does this has to count every conversion like for example if you read the example if somebody click on the ad and make three purchases then it will be counted as three conversion if you select one then if you still buy the three products it will be counted as one conversion so you have to decide whether you want this or this option it depends upon like for sign up thing we want uh, that if somebody is signing up multiple times even that it should be counted as only one conversion because there is no meaning to count it again then click on done and this is the next thing that is window conversion how long suppose let the person click on it and go on your website and then buy the product at that time and next day he open your website and then buy the product and if he buy the product within 30 days then it will be counted as a conversion that person will be counted as a conversion because of such so that is conversion window view through conversion window is how much available he is in those days okay not clear then I'm telling you again for impressions like he see the ad doesn't click on it okay and then visit the website within 30 days and buy the product then it will be counted as view through conversion view through window conversion okay you can define change the limit from 30 to 60 90 it's up to you maximum is 90 so I'm setting it up as 90 and view through as 30 click on done and now the category in which category this type of conversion is whether it's a sale or purchase a sign up or lead it's it depends upon you as we are doing it for sign up we i define it as sign up then click on done include conversion then go on save and continue once you click on save and continue it will generate a code for you okay where is the code sorry it, the code is just here Okay, just below it, you have to just copy this code and go into your WordPress account where you are just tracking it up. So let me go into some test account. I know it is quite irritating, then it is working a bit slow. So keep your patience with you. Once you log in in your WordPress account, if it is a WordPress site, then you can use WordPress. Otherwise, you can directly copy this code and paste it in the head part of your website. If it is a WordPress one, then what you have to do is you have to just go down and you will find setting button and I have installed one plugin that is known as header and footer you have to click on it copy this header and footer plugin and it should be pasted out everywhere so you can select it and paste it everywhere okay in the first one you have to just paste it okay and then save it so it will be replicated on each and every page of your website and it will be replicated on the thank you as well as every page okay once it is done you can save and exit and this conversion tracking code is working on your site and now it will start detecting the conversions happening in your site
that is all for today thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it bye bye